Hi, what are you doing? I'm just going to work. Oh, how? I'm just going by car. Why? Well, we had a store in Huddersfield, but we've had to change to go to Leeds because it's got bigger. Oh, um, fair dues, yeah. Um, excuse me, excuse me. Um, oh, do you hi. mind asking some questions? Yeah, sure. Um, so, what are you doing? I'm just off to the gym. Um, how? How are you going to the gym? I'm going to get on the bus. There's a bus stop just down there. Oh, why? Well, I need to maintain this physique. Oh, right. Oh, right. I understand. Yeah, okay. See you later. See ya. Oh, hi. Um, what are you doing? I'm just going to Leeds. Just going shopping. Oh, right. Um, and how are you going there? Just by car. I don't really want to, but... Why? Why do you using the car for though? Because all the shops I like are moved out of Huddersfield to Leeds and I really need a new dress, so right. Alright, okay. This is a classic example of derived demand. Demand that depends upon the final output that is produced or on the demand for another item. And don't forget the journey purpose, the reason why you are actually using this form of transport. Oh wait, look, there's one last person I forgot about. Hi. Hi. Um, problem. um, what are you doing? Well, I'm just getting in my car. Um, why? Well, I've had a busy morning this morning. I've been teaching a natural monopoly diagram. I've been looking at a bit of oligopoly. I'm just going for a sleep. Is that okay? Um, all right. Um, well, a a apart from the exception, don't forget to include journey purpose when talking about derived demand.